Hi, Peter. How are you? How's training? <laughs> Apologies. Uh, training's good. Good week, tough week. Um, you know, a uh, lot of work to be done, obviously, and um, good week, though. Good yeah. week, good honest week, and, um, you know, here we are, last one, and we're in with the show, exactly to where we want to be, you know. The Grand Slam is gone, so it's all about the championship. Now, yeah. there's a couple of scenarios, which win, obviously, is the, the simplest way about it, but there's a couple of scenarios where you could get a late kick and secure a losing bonus point to win the championship, and maybe a late kick for a draw or something to secure it. Has that been discussed at different days? Because was it 20? Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, you have to discuss these things, particularly uh, with regard to the guys who are making decisions around refereeing calls and that kind of stuff, penalties. So, um, you know, it, it, we're going to have to win tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's, that's what we do for every test match. We're going to have to win. But, of course, there's a handful of us who might not have to make a decision to, who might need to know the permutations. But, you know, we want to put in a performance tomorrow that, that, that's capable of winning, you know. Do you remember looking at the 27, the 2015 match? What were the thought you the squad looking at the France England match? Up and that was the one. That was the mad day, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was, was that, that wasn't enjoyable, I presume. Looking no, it was game. torture. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, obviously Wales went out, put up a big score. Um, you know, then we did the job, and then obviously it was pure carnage the last last day. I'm sure it was great watching for uh, for the rest of the world. But uh, I remember watching from the stairwell in Murrayfield. Praying to God. So, um, no, look, that's, that's what uh, I suppose the, the Super Saturday means to the competition. You know, it's, it's great that there's so many teams involved who can win it. Thanks, Will. Hi, Peter. Um, just off the back of last week, is both teams coming into this a slightly different approach following the results last weekend? Like you, you approach every game like you want to win it, um, which is no different this weekend for either of us, of course. You know, off the back of of, of a loss for both of us that, you know, you, you try and focus the mind on certain things and you try and make improvements and, and you know, you you always want your next performance to be a winning one. Um, so look, I'm sure we're both in the same, in the same camp in that, in, that, in that department. You've been there before where Scotland would be in Italy. Um, do you think they're hurting a bit more of a dangerous animal now you come into this game wanting to prove something? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they are, but we're in the same boat, I said already this week, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we're, we're certainly hurting from last week uh, with some of the aspects of our performance and, and, and losing. You know, we don't want to lose, you know, neither do Scotland, so we're, we're kind of same, in, in the same boat. Capturing the side again, obviously it's been a huge honour over the past few months to do that. Is that something you've talked to Andy about you want to continue doing? Um, no, I haven't. Um, you know, we've both been very much focused on, on this campaign and, and every game that was coming up and, and it was no different this week. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, hi, Peter. After what's been a tough week for some players on social media and criticism they've received after that loss, are you nice to come in here today to see the smiles on the young people's faces to show the real impact you can have on Irish rugby sport? Yeah, look, they're, they're always, uh, you know, an, an inspiring part of our journey, um, you know, the younger people and... You know, even from my experiences as, as a younger person, you know, looking up to the Irish team was always something I did. And, and I have no doubt there's lots of kids out there who, who look up to us. And, um, you know, that's a big part of, of, of you know, the responsibility of playing for Ireland is, uh, is, is giving, them, giving them something to dream about, um, like we did a long time ago. And, um, yeah, it's, it's great. You know, there's lots of families out there. Um, you know, kids getting the opportunity to see us train and that kind of thing, which is which is nice for them. And um, you know, it's always lovely to come off and see the enthusiasm and you know support that we always get. You, you've all been there and done it before, but how much is it of managing the occasion on Saturday as well? Yeah, of course it is. It's 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 a, look, it's a huge game for for lots and lots of reasons, and um, you know, you've got to go. And you know, play the play the match, not the not the occasion is, is the big thing for for every team on, on, on the last Saturday. Thanks, Ruth. Pete, you've been involved in last day games that have been dead rubbers. What does it mean to be involved in this one and, and captain the side in this one? I've spoken about that to the team already this week. Um, as you said, I've I've been in plenty of games last game of the competition that we haven't been in with a shout and you know the position that we're in, you know, it's 
very privileged and you can never take for granted. And, and you know, what a, what, a, what a game to be selected for and, and an opportunity to play for your country to, to win silverware. And, um, as I said, it's, it's, it can be never something you can take for granted playing for Ireland, but especially on the last day of a, of a weekend like this, um, you know, playing for something as, as big as the Six Nations Championship. And what would, what would it mean to you to lift the, the trophy as captain? Look, it would mean the same to me as, as it would to you know, anyone else in, in the squad, an extended squad. It's, it's what we're all here for. Um, you know, we've never made any bones about it. You know, we're here to win. And, um, you know, it would mean a huge amount to all of us.